Hey there guys, Ian here, and today I'm bringing you a After Effects, well, an After Effects tutorial. Um, this was a follow-up video to my particular Rain uh, preview, and today I'm just going to kind of show you how it's done, and I'll show you what I created here. Um, it's very simple, very easy, and very effective. So this is what we're going to be creating. Um, you can make it however you like. Uh, someone said it didn't really look like rain. Maybe that was the color. Um, you can make it whatever color you want, and that's um, incredibly easy to change. I just did it um, kind of motion graphics rain, not realistic, um, as uh, all of my subscribers, well, most of them anyway, are motion graphics. So um, I'm kind of just filling the quota. Um, so we'll jump straight in to After Effects here and begin by making a new composition, um, 1280 by 720, and we're just going to make a new solid down here, um, whatever color you want, and make it comp size, and I'm going to call it particular, and here we go. So basically you can right click anywhere here and it brings up your effects menu I'm gonna to go to trap code and particular and if we play through now we got these lovely particles so what we want is not a point emitter but a um, let's say box I think this will work um, scale it out in the X scale it in on the Y and um, scale it out on the Z and we're just going to position it somewhere up high and then we're just going to change the velocity to zero random to zero and velocity from motion maybe to something like 10 so if we were to play through now nothing really happens and that's where the physics comes in so we're just going to go to physics um, not particle physics and turn the gravity um, where are we going um, to something like um, will 50 do? Uh, let's play through yeah that seems fast enough um, we need to increase the life of our particles um, it might not be fast enough no um, we're just going to increase this to something like 150 um, for now anyway and let's move on with making the particle look how it's meant to look. So we're just going to increase the particles a second to something like 300. Um, and in the particles, we're going to make the life to 10. So they're always on the screen. And so you get this um, very simple looking rain effect here. Uh, we're going to change the sphere feather to 100. Um, the size to maybe 2 with the randomness at maybe 80 just so we get different sizes the opacity I'm going to lower down to maybe 30 with the uh, random to 20, uh, 80 again so now we've got this slightly better looking rain and for this I'll use um, again a kind of yellowy um, particle and we get in fact no I'm just going to use white in this because it's a bit easier to see um, hopefully you can see this okay I'll put it here okay so this is what we have so far now what we want to do is introduce um, the kind of bouncing effect so for this we actually need another solid uh, and this one I'm going to make white and call it bounce doesn't matter what it's named but for organizational purposes this is uh, pretty easy and we're going to right click make a 3d layer and with rotation we're just going to grab the X rotation and make it 90 then we can drag it down to where we want the floor so we got something like this now nothing will happen at the moment, we need to actually turn it on in particular. So we're going to go to the AUX system, um, emitter at bounce. Um, in fact in the physics we need bounce as well, 
um, so we can actually select what we want. So floor layer is the bounce layer. And now you can see when it hits there, um, we get these particles jumping up and particles spawning on it. I'm just going to turn the um, other system off now um, and I'll get to that in a second. So you get to see here and if I turn this layer off um, what we have. So when it hits the floor it actually bounces up but far too much. So we're going to turn this down to maybe something like 10. So now we have this kind of hitting the floor pattern um, which is pretty cool and we'll change the randomness up to something like 80 as well. And also in here, um, what I'm going to do is change collision event to kill. Um, that will just get rid of the particles when it hit it. And you'll see why when we turn this system on. So now every time a particle hits, it spawns a particle rather than makes that particle bounce. Uh, this way we can get almost like a splash, um, which was seen in my other one as well. So we want, I'm going to change the emit probability to 90, that way it doesn't always splash up. Um, the particles on collision I'm going to put to maybe like 5, the life to maybe 2. So now when it hits we get all these colours which we don't want, um, so colour from main to 100% so it will be always white. Uh, we could actually uh, use a gradient uh, here, so when they spawn, um, they go from black to white, but no, we're just going to play with the opacity. So we'll leave it at white and opacity over life will just dim down, uh, so this way they fall off. Um, the opacity itself will copy from this particle here, so we want um, 30. The size we're going to put down to maybe um, 1, so they're a bit smaller. And now we want a bit of velocity, uh, so we get the actual splash. And so now you can see, especially if we introduce a camera to our scene, um, pressing C to kind of move around we get when the particles hit all these collisions on the floor which is pretty cool um, just by using particular um, next what we can do is turn on the randomness here so the size random we can turn up opacity random as well just to keep it all nice and neat and different we can make the mode add uh, the gravity to maybe like two just so they these fall down um, just keep playing with the setting so I'm gonna put it to maybe 10 and now we get this really nice effect now one thing is that the rain doesn't start immediately and I believe in emission extras here under emitter we have uh, pre-run and this is um, for the amount of frames it pre-runs first. Um, likewise you can just drag the, key, the timeline back but this is kind of the um, meant to be the way you do it. So here we have a basic rain effect. Um, in my tutorial I created a really basic camera move by right clicking on the camera, going camera and create orbit null and this basically just puts a null in the scene and links your camera to it so when you rotate the null it rotates a camera so at the end we'll have it here and at the start we'll have it kind of up here 
So now we get this very simple camera move uh, throughout the scene. And one final thing we can do is under particular, um, if we toggle the switches so we get uh, the motion blur, uh, check it here and up here, and we get these streaks coming down now. And if we right click and go to composition settings, um, under advanced we can change the shutter angle to something like 300 um, just to get a more um, kind of more motion blur in there and finally if we click on the camera and double click A this brings up our camera options we can turn on depth of field here um, and just play with the focus distance until we focus on something near the front and turn up the aperture um, so we get a nice depth of field and now we can just go to the emitter change this to something like 600 particles a second and white particles don't work that well I find um, but if you change this to a nice yellow and transfer mode to add we get this really nice depth of field. Again, we can just increase the particles to maybe double the amount. And if we, in fact, create a new null, um, link this null to it, just so I can move it down without affecting the camera move. You get this really nice depth of field with all the drops um, on the ground, splashing, creating this really cool effect. Um, really fun, uh, really simple um, way to do rain. And um, I think in my example, I just threw a light in the scene, um, which kind of went. Um, if I can grab the right one, want the and then up. All I then did was used optical flares um, here tracking the light using nothing but um, this soft iris set to uh, add here then shrunk down and turned to something like this and here you have pretty much the scene I created um, another very quick tip before I go you can see here uh, with the optical flares we have this horrible banding issue so if we just create a new adjustment layer I have a plugin called um, Magic Bullet Grain or Misfire Grain, and all we, all I do is turn off color noise, uh, change the amount to ten, all of these to ten, and now um, almost all of that banding has gone uh, by using the grain to uh, kind of mix it up. So that's with out this horrible uh, banding, and that's with. So very dramatic difference. I believe you can just use under noise and grain, um, add grain, um, final output, um, change the intensity down to like 0.2 maybe, or even 0.1. Um, this will do pretty much exactly the same. Um, 
it just gets rid of those horrible lines in your image and creates this really nice effect. Um, if you wanted to add like a glow or shine um, to it, then feel free, stylize and glow. Um, and this will just bring it out a bit more so you get, um, makes it a bit more visible. So I hope you've enjoyed this very, very quick, uh, quite long, but very simple tutorial anyway on how to create rain using uh, trap code particular. And you'll see just how easy it is. Uh, you don't have to use a plane, you could use any object you want. So you could almost make uh, your 3D object out of um, solids and then use that with the bounce to create a kind of bouncing off a logo. Um, haven't tried that but I think it'd be pretty cool. So I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and I shall see you soon.